Wann er fährt da? Thank you very much, right honorable speaker. On 10th of this month, the road between Karuma, Anaka, and Pakwachi was blocked after River Tangri, as usual, breaking its bank and blocking access. The last uh, about three years, this thing has been happening around such a time. We have tried to reach the responsible ministers, but they were not able to respond to us. And therefore, we have to bring it here. I have uh, three prayers. One, the ministry should be able to update the country. What causes this every other time, around this time? Because there is a heavy traffic that moves from Malaba, Lira, Karuma, to West Nile through that path. But also, the greater Choli moves to West Nile through that road. Two, what could be the short-term and the long-term solution? Because we cannot continue to have traffic interruptions just because a river is breaking the banks. Thirdly, we would pray that the ministry engages the leaders in that area, including the caucus of West Nile and the Acholi, so that you can hear our views on the way forward. I thank you. Hello, Minister for Works. Uh, right on about the pity that uh, Tangi again breaks its bank and causes this disruption. Indeed, I did visit last year with a team of leaders from West Nile and the engineers. While the entire road is being worked by China Railway 7 and the NEC, we told, the engineers assured me that they are going to do a first approach to the intervention on that particular spot. The first approach was they thought if they increased the culverts as a temporal measure, the diameter that they did recommend, maybe it would be able to accommodate us. We plan to build what they call a box culvert at that spot. And so we agreed that they do that. Unfortunately, even with the box culvert that has been put, it, uh, the, I mean the, the culvert that has been put, it has this again been overwhelmed by the flood that came last few days. And as we talk now, we have told them, instead of following the road systematically and thinking that they can only do a box culvert when they reach that particular spot, given the sensitivity of that location, there is need for them to start planning how to fix a box culvert and eventually also work, work on the, the bridge, the entire metallic bridge itself as we are working in order to also re revive the, the, the meter gauge railway. So right on about our colleagues, we are aware of the pain, we are aware of the suffering, and, but we are doing whatever it takes to make sure that we restore normalcy there. Thank you. Um, yes, the one I will let it not be an exchange. Let, let the minister indeed meet the MPs from the affected areas. Right on, right on, yeah. uh, on we, we don't access the microphone that way, please. Yeah. He's off the floor. Yeah. Uh, we single ma uh, thank you, right on speaker. Uh, right on speaker. Much as the honorable minister is making commitment, it would be uh, would it not be procedurally correct, honorable speaker, that the Honorable Minister puts uh, a definite period within which he can meet the members of Parliament. Because, uh, uh, right Honorable Speaker, for almost two years I have been waiting for the Honorable Minister in Gulo. He will tell you, we are coming, we will meet you. And that becomes the story. And so it would be good for him to be specific on what step and when, so we can measure. Thank you. On Honorable Cheru, I know you for being very proactive. Can you meet this team tomorrow? Because it's an emergency. Right, Honorable, we shall meet tomorrow. 
I will meet the West Nile team tomorrow. We had a commitment with the right hon our Prime Minister, but since we are two, my colleague, Honorable Fred Yamukama, will represent the ministry in the, in the Prime Minister's office. Then I will, I will meet the leadership from West Nile in the boardroom of the Minister of Works. Tomorrow at 10 a.m.? 10 is okay. Very good. Tomorrow at 10 a.m., I will cross-check with you and I will colleagues later. Thank